I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios here at AWS reInvent 2024. Joined now by the president of Wind River, Avijit Sinha. First of all, welcome. It's exciting to see you here. Has it been a good show so far? It's been great, and Brian, thanks for having me here. It's great to be here. We want to talk about Wind River working with AWS to advance software-defined vehicle innovation. You've done a lot of amazing work in this space. I've loved following it over the years. Tell me, what's new? Look, um, the automotive industry is going through a tremendous transformation. Uh, it's a period of time where they're investing in autonomous vehicles, connected vehicles, electric vehicles, but all of that transformation is fundamentally driven by software. And so software is, is, is at the center of that transformation. And so as the automotive industry looks to adopt software, they need a very solid infrastructure that enables them to build the software that's needed to drive all of that innovation. And so we, uh, when we looked at that industry uh, and we birthed the studio product that we've got, we really looked at the lives and the, uh, the way that software developers work in the automotive industry. So from the ground up, we build Windriver Studio in a manner that allows globally distributed software development teams in the automotive industry to be able to leverage the cloud at cloud scale, at cloud speed, and do development in a manner that developers in other industries, in mobile and web and cloud have done. So Studio basically allows automotive developers to develop, deploy, operate and service automotive software from the cloud to the edge over the life cycle of uh, the automotive uh, vehicle. And the capability there is, uh, you know, it enables developers to pull in all the tools that they have. We've integrated about 30 different tools into a workflow that they're typically used to. So the amount of productivity gains we can drive for a software development team is just tremendous. So as we started developing this, we were looking for a cloud platform, and we started off in AWS, and they've been just a tremendous partner to us. Outside of the standard cloud infrastructure that they provided, more recently we partnered with them on Amazon Q to bring that into Studio to enhance developer productivity. So across the board, Wind River and AWS have been able to leverage cloud and edge capabilities. They're strong in cloud and AI, we're strong in embedded and edge. Therein lies the complementarity, so those capabilities come together We've basically been able to scale Studio Developer on uh, the cloud in AWS and bring it to market. And the clear example of that is our parent company, Aptive. They've got hundreds of developers who build software for automotive companies across the world. So they've been able to adopt Studio and roll it across teams for delivering software to automotive customers and significantly enhance the productivity of their development teams, the operational efficiency, the speed of getting uh, you know, software to the market, the value that they can deliver. So it's just been a great partnership for us and we've been able to accelerate our efforts in partnership with AWS. And some exciting news around Amazon Q this week here at AWS reInvent. Certainly it's great to hear that you're a big part of that. Now the edge to cloud software portfolio Powering use is Wind River's edge to cloud software portfolio really helping enable that intelligent edge. You've done a lot of work, great, uh, great work in the autonomous car space, the vehicle development space, in the intelligent edge. How is this helping? Yeah, look, Wind River has been on a journey of transformation for the last few years. The company has been around for about 40 years and it was a market leader in the embedded uh, system space, building embedded software for mission critical systems across uh, aerospace and defense, telecommunications, industrial and robotics. Over the last five or so years, we've invested a lot in cloud and edge technologies to really transform ourselves into an edge to cloud software provider. And looking forward, we're embracing the uh, AI capabilities through partnerships with Amazon and others, wherein we will bring AI to the edge and therefore really help our customers realize the power of the intelligent edge. And so the way we do that is, we've got a very comprehensive portfolio of capabilities. They run the spectrum of real-time operating systems, hypervisors, embedded Linux, DevOps, a cloud platform, automation and orchestration, and analytics. So it's just a wide spectrum of things, but what you'll notice across that is it's essentially the operating platform or the organizing layer on top of hardware that enables applications to run on it. Whether it's on a sensor, or a gateway, or a server, or a near edge, or a far edge, or a cloud platform, right? So we span that entire spectrum. That then becomes a really good platform for applications, and now going forward, AI-infused applications. Today, AI is all in the cloud, rightfully so, because the amount of infrastructure needed to build AI models is only possible in large-scale data centers with elastic compute, networking, and storage. But as AI is birthed in the cloud, it's going to live and thrive at the edge. It needs to, right. And so we will see that transformation, and that's really where the puck is going to. So we are going to skate to the puck, wherein we'll build the platform for the edge, 
such that the AI that is birthed in the cloud, so it's trained there, yeah. but then it lives and thrives at the edge, that is where inference happens, because that's where the data is generated, that's where the scenarios and use cases are experienced, and that's really where you and I as human beings you know, interact with the AI. Right. So we are really building that platform there. And the example of how we're gaining traction there is we just joined the Edge AI Foundation. It's a group of companies in silicon and devices and equipment, as well as software and tooling that's coming together to really bring to life all the capabilities that are needed to realize an intelligent edge. And we're working with startups like Edge Impulse that builds MLOps and AIOps, they're an AWS partner, Zedida that does automation and orchestration for deploying AI-infused applications at the edge. So the combination of us and people who do automation and orchestration, AI and MLOps, and Amazon as a cloud platform, that brings to life the intelligent edge. Following Wind River as an intelligent edge, embedded edge company, I was very excited to read the Elixir announcement where you're moving into the enterprise space. Tell us about Elixir Pro. We're very excited about Elixir. And the reason for that is this. There's a lot of Linux out in the market. But Linux was fundamentally built for the server and the IT environment. And it's been immensely successful. It's driven a lot of value for a lot of customers. And there are a lot of providers of Linux. But increasingly, as you look at the edge, the IT built uh, Linux uh, distributions are not well suited for far edge environments because the edge is not as, uh, you know, it's more resource constrained, compute constrained, storage constrained than an IT environment, whether in the cloud or on-prem. So you really need a commercial Linux distribution that is well suited for the edge. And so the Elixir project is an open source effort of taking the Debian distribution and really making it work for edge environments for industry specific workloads and for AI workloads of uh, the kind that we talked about in terms of operationalizing AI at the edge. So we are partnering with a number of companies and the open source community to bring that to market and we have Elixir Pro as a commercial offering with servicing and support for Elixir project in the form of Elixir Pro as a offering to our customers who want to adopt Linux, again, across that whole spectrum, all the way from the far edge to the near edge and the cloud. So Elixir gives them that enterprise level capability across edge and cloud, as well as all the packages that are needed to operationalize applications across that spectrum. And the good thing about Elixir is this, that because we as Wind River, for 40 years have built operating systems that are fine-tuned to the resource constrained environment, we've taken Elixir and shrunk it down to a point where the number of packages makes it very conducive to the low level compute that you have, the storage, the memory that you need, and most importantly, the power characteristics as well. And then more importantly, in this age, cybersecurity is very important. Right, right. So when you take the number of packages down, you really reduce the attack service. So the CVs that are needing to be serviced are much lesser. So it makes it easier to develop, deploy, operate, and service over a lifetime. So Elixir is really well suited for the intelligent edge. I have to say, very exciting stuff. You have done a lot of amazing work, not only in the edge, but expanding into the enterprise space as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Avijit Sinha, President, Wind River. I'm Brian Westbrook, this is GeekWire Studios.